We've Weird. been following a giant stretch of seaweed in the Atlantic Ocean. It is reportedly 5,000 miles long. And parts of it are already have washed up on Florida's shores. <laughs> Good news, though, from scientists. I mean, seriously, it's like, take all of our headlines, and it feels like we might as well be in the X-Men. News Nation's <laughs> Xavier Walton, speaking of X-Men, Xavier is in Fort Lauderdale Beach with the details. <laughs> with the seaweed. I couldn't help it. Uh, let's go with Professor Xavier. Yeah, How about that this morning? Come on. Hey. <laughs> Normally, when we do this story, you know, we come out here, we, we look at the beach, we just look at this beautiful ocean. By the way, you're welcome. I know I'm not dressed for the beach, but the last few times we've done this story, when you looked up ashore, you've seen these giant chunks of seaweed. Hey, this morning, not so bad, right? Uh, scientists saying the amount has actually shrunk some good news and by a decent percentage too throughout the caribbean up and down florida shores residents and coastal communities they are preparing for a record-setting amount of seaweed coming ashore we've seen it experts say the floating seaweed belt is, is a natural phenomenon in the ocean but when it comes uh when it washes up on beaches you know it rots it creates a, a toxic smelly mess sometimes that could lead to breathing problems for those with respiratory issues. Scientists noticed that in the last month, though, listen to this, that giant seaweed belt has, de has decreased in size. Well, to me, that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, usually in the past years, from April to May, the amount of sargassum has always increased, but not this year. The total amount of sargassum in the Atlantic Ocean actually decreased from April to May. That is truly a surprise to me. So sargassum is that specific type of seaweed he's talking about. And USF's Marine Science Department issues reports on the sargassum monthly. So this is satellite imagery showing just how large it is when you say 5,000. Uh, these tombs just show the difference between April and May's reports. Scientists aren't sure why the bloom is decreased, gone down, but it is something they're looking at. In total, it decreased by 15%, uh, but that decrease is not uniform everywhere. In some parts of the ocean, it decreased by more than half. In other places, it decreased a little bit or increased a little bit. And as we come back out here live, showing you this gentleman here by himself here on the beach, doesn't that look nice? It helps when all of that seaweed, which earlier, the last few times we've been out here, was covered in seaweed. So you can do that when it's looking nice like that. Anyways, when you're talking about 15%, a decrease of 15%, when you're talking about 11 tons, it may not sound like a lot, but it really is. So that is a bit of good news still. All these beach communities are preparing for a lot of seaweed headed their way. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.